Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, my name's Mandy and I'm the Kitchen Wife. Today I'm gonna be doing my June plan with me and my Erin Condren Life Planner. And it's one of those things where life is crazy. I run a blog, I run a YouTube channel, I run my home, and I just need something to help me keep it all together. So that's why I love these Erin Condren Life Planners. And if you're new to this whole planning thing and you like what you see in this video, I'm gonna leave a referral link in the comments below where you can get $10 off your first Erin Condren Life Planner, which is awesome because they just released their new design. Without further ado, let's get this planner party started. Bye guys. guys and welcome to my plan with me. To get things started we're going to be using the Erin Condren sticker book Always a Reason to Celebrate. I'm going to be using the June page out of that book and I really really love this sticker book simply because it gives a nice uniform look to all my monthly layouts. And right here I'm just putting down one of the strips for the week that I'm going on vacation. I really like using these to mark off like trips that I'm going to take or something like that. This year we are taking my stepdaughter and my grandkids to the mountains. We have a cabin that we run up there and yeah. I love this little embellishment that says summer travel on it. Just to kind of say, hey, this is my vacation. And then I'm gonna be using this little blue page flag here to mark when I'm gonna go see 21 Pilots. Any 21 Pilots fans out there, I am super excited for the show. And then I'm just gonna add a cupel, a cupel? Yeah, I can talk. I'm gonna add a couple cute little embellishments. Now I'm going to be going back to that June sticker page and just adding a couple like inspirational quotes. I love inspirational quotes. I think this layout looks so summery. Another little cheeky little quote. And then I'm using another one of those little page flags from the sticker page to mark when my stepdaughter's coming in. Which just so happens to be on Father's Day. Coincidence? I think not. And a few more little embellishments for the top. I love these pineapples and watermelons. Can we talk about that gold foiling for a minute? And now I'm going to be using some of those labels from the back of my Erin Condren planner. And what I do is I use my monthly layout for my editorial calendar. So I'm just going to mark every day that I'm going to post. Throughout the week, it's my two days a week for my blog, thekitchenwife.net, shameless plug, and then on Saturdays, I put up my YouTube videos, which I call my Saturday Sips. And so I'm just kind of speeding through this here really quick. I love using the Erin Condren labels because they're really easy to like um, pick up and move, and uh, I like that because sometimes, you know, Planning is awesome, but sometimes things change, so I really like that I can just pick these up and move them around the calendar if I need to. And now that the monthly layout is done, we're going to go ahead and work on the weekly layout. Can I just say I'm super excited for the new Erin Condren's because they got rid of the colored 
bands at the top of each box so it's just a white box and they did away with a lot of like the other stuff. For the sticker design I'm using these donut stickers that I got from Walmart for like 97 cents and this came from a planner swap. There's just these little like sprinkled half boxes that I'm using. And then this also came from a painter swap. It's just a bunch of weekend banners that I got. I'm all about using whatever I have. And then I'll probably be pulling an inspirational quote from that Mambi sticker book. And this is the washi I'll be using. So yeah, going back to what I was saying, I will be so happy next year when I don't have to cover all of these things with washi tape. Um, just because I don't, you know, she doesn't do the morning, noon, and night thing anymore, so why are they there? I mean, if you want a header, add a header, but I'm glad they got rid of them. I'm excited. So yeah, I'm just laying down this washi to cover up those headers, and I'm using my ruler from my Erin Condren to tear the tape just to give it a nice straight edge. Yeah, I always stick the spare pieces of tape on the back of my hand. I don't know why I do that. Okay, so that's all for the mint tape, and now I'm going to use this um, rose gold and gold foil tape for the bottom. I don't need a lot of space at the bottom. Usually I use that to write like what we're having for dinner that week or something, so or that day. So I don't need all of that space, so I like to cover up a little bit. And then I'm going to be using this sticker book, which I'll link down below, for this cute little quote that says she believed that she could, so she did. Because hashtag girl power. I'm not really sure what I'm doing right here, to be honest with you. Oh, I'm getting some of those donuts. So the thing about my planning is, I really like a functional planner. I love all the cute stickers and I love doing all that stuff, but I really like function. So I try to use all these cute embellishments, but still leave plenty of room to like actually write in my planner and use my planner. So um, these stickers, like I said, came from Walmart. They were like 97 cents. It's National Donut Day on Friday this week. So I thought, I'll do a donut layout. And then I'm going to use this um, coral collared weekend banner from my banner swap page. And there you go. I love weekend banners. Sometimes if I don't have a weekend banner, I'll just draw like a, a line there and make my own little flag banner or something. So now I'm going to add some of my um, more functional stickers to the layout. I'm going to use these half boxes um, and put on the days that I'm going to post for my blog. And basically I just write like what post I'm going to put there. And then I use these paper and glam blog planning stickers just to signify like, hey, this is my blog post.
and now I'm using these really cool social media stickers from that same paper and glam set. I really love these because I have a really hard time like remembering to share my stuff and where I've shared it and where I haven't shared it so this just kind of helps me keep track on the day that my post goes live. And then I love how it has all the main ones but then it has some space for me to write like other places that I share things as well. now using those same half boxes I'm gonna go in and put my Saturday sip post in and then instead of using the little laptop I'm gonna use a little camera let me tell you something the paper and glam stickers she has all sorts of stickers but they are just some of the best quality stickers on the market a little pricey but if you have the money to spend like definitely worth it So yeah, this is pretty much my week layout here. And now I'm going to work on my dashboard. I have these left over from another kit that I had a long time ago. So I'm just going to put my top five for the week down. Just something cute to mark off my like top five goals for the week. And there you have it. I've just added a couple more little embellishments across the layout, but that's basically what it looks like. I'll definitely fill more stuff in and add more stuff as the week goes, but this is just kind of how my planner looks at the beginning of the week. I just put what I know is going on in there and then I add more as the week goes on. And then here's another look at my monthly layout. I really like how this turned out. Super cute. So yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. If you like this, give it a thumbs up and please be sure to subscribe down below. Have a great day guys. Bye bye.